shoot the Viper model. green truck you've seen it on there a few times I used to run around in that thing uh, from the time that I was 16 till I was about 21 I ran that truck and it was awesome I'm bringing a little nostalgia back I flew home my trucks in Kentucky not gonna be able to take sage, my dog sage. Um, I just oh, made the decision to not bring the dog just because I have to run the cameras and whatnot but we're gonna do some refuge running we're gonna hunt all this stuff that I like to hunt in October you guys have never seen that before um, October's a great time of year to hunt birds, kill some bands, get on some good public land hunting. So I'm going to load up the cart and I'm going to load up the decoys and I'm going to meet everybody down there in Oregon. And we're going to go hunt one of my favorite places. So load up the old green truck and get rolling. You got to stay home, don't you? So just probably going to wonder what I would be using because there's a lot of variety in the Pacific Northwest all the time, but I want Texas rigs. Texas rigs for this time of year are awesome. We don't do a ton of river hunting this time of year. We just gotta grab Texas rigs. They're easy to put out, they're easier to pick up. Just makes everything so much easier. So I'm gonna grab the rest of this stuff, wrap it up and get on the road. I am a long ways from my destination. So for everyone that's wondering, it's a lot rainier on this side of the state. This is the west side. This is the border, actually, between the west side and the east side. Um, it's a Cascade mountain range. It goes right down the middle of it. It's the west side. It's 70 inches to 60 inches of rain a year. This side behind me where I'm heading, it's 9 to 13 inches a year. So goes from a coniferous rainforest to the desert. Really cool, two different hunting environments, but thought I'd give you guys just a little bit of a backstory here the Pacific Northwest and I don't know, it's so cool. I love this side, it's so pretty, it's really wet, but Pacific Northwest is many wonders. It is beautiful here. Yeah, you wanted a, you wanted a duck, right? Yeah, all right, cool, thank Take you. Take it and put it in your house. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Does birthday. Thank you. Yeah, it floats. All right. That's yeah, it's got foam in it too, so it never sinks. All right. All yep. right. My kids love that. Thank you. Yep. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I made it here, and the weather is prime. That's literally why I tried to get this week off work. I looked at the weather. It's supposed to be windy. 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow. Hopefully, it holds up. Look at this. We got a slight wind starting right now. I'm gonna go see my buddies. I haven't seen them in a long, long time. We're at camp. What's up? Okay. He's Brody rolling. <laughs> okay. What's your name, Brody? Brody rolling. Okay, where are you from? Klamath Falls. Mark Mitchell from uh, Tri-Cities. Spokane. Spokane, but what are Tri-Cities? Okay, he never knows Washington and Oregon, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, three words and how we met. On great time. Yep. Doing weird things. Doing weird things. Hunting ducks or duck calling is what we started with, right? Duck yes. calling, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Talking about 16, Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> Back at Oregon Water Club. Let's put this camera down and let's go eat some food. I'm hungry. Yep. Is that yours, Austin? That's not good. Android wakes you up on a on a good note. That was oh that was God. that was pretty pleasant though. You got an Android. Dude, he can't text I'm for not a, nothing. I'm not a Chinese spy. Before we head in today, I want to give a little shout out to my little Yeti bag here. Virtually waterproof. It doesn't get wet at all, and that's a big deal for camera gear. So I use this bag every single day, whether I'm filming, whether Hutton. Uh, there's some other ones out there I like, but this thing's awesome. So, we're out here at the spot on the, on the refuge. We walked in and 
wind's blowing pretty good. It kind of calmed down here for a second, but what we're doing, we're gonna walk through some probably waist to knee high mud across this whole thing. We're not very deep in here, but uh, usually there's a lot of birds, but the biggest part is that we do what no one else wants to do and walk through this dangerous mud. <laughs> and really, we could shoot anything in this pond. Brody shot a surf scoter yesterday. I don't know, so. Let me get everything loaded here and walk across the pond. Uh, load our stuff, let's get out there. This is refuge running, guys. Shoveler decoys, wind spinners. You wanna see the spread, guys. <laughs> nice job. That is Michael's first Oregon bird. He's never shot a bird before. Yeah, first time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slip the band, guys. What do you think of that cut down? I like it a lot. Kill it, Brody, when he gets in here, kill him. Kill him. Uh. Redemption, Brody. Shot. Just are sliding across. That's a dead gad wall. Gunner. Gunner. Your band right there. You're killing them today, buddy. That wasn't me. That one was Austin. That was Austin? Yeah. There's a gad wall, too. Keep on him. Keep on him. Keep on him. <laughs> Keep on him. Keep on him. Yeah, shoot him. Nice shot. Good job, Austin. Kill it. Nice shot. Nice shot. Back. Back. That's a nice duck. Nice duck. Sky bust. <laughs> Why not? Dude, get him where you can. <laughs> get in where you fit in. What? <laughs> what in the world? Whoa. So, the hunt's been pretty good, but we're struggling to get them on film and the sun's not right so I also dropped a GoPro in and I'm soaking wet now so I am we're gonna load everything up just take it back and we're gonna hunt this afternoon but go put on some dry clothes and try it again tonight we shot 11 so far so not too bad just quick fast paced and uh, hopefully they'll decoy a little better later okay Michael I want you to tell tell me why we're having to go to this spot. Well, both thought it'd be a good idea to go get lunch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, actually, I did. Thought it'd be a good idea. But everyone else agreed with me, and then someone took our spot. And now we're going to a different spot. It's way and deeper in mud. Two times worse mud. But that's our. I knew we shouldn't have went to lunch. This is what you get for giving in to your temptation. You're hungry. And you know it's gonna get windy, but you still go anyways. Someone takes your spot, and then you're scrambling to find something to force you to light. It's, it's a part of duck hunting, and it's nature. But I like to be that person that capitalizes on being hungry. Today, I was the minnow in the big pond. 
kind of dangerous not walking into the spot you're throwing them. Here's our spread. Kill him. There you go, Austin. Stud widgeon. Held a great widgeon. Let me see that bad boy. Okay, well, I've been filming all day, so it's my turn to shoot. I'm just gonna give it my best shot. I'm gonna shoot the right bird. Dude, this call rips. <laughs> oh, dude, Gadwall too. Gadwall Drake, man. Let All me see it. Let day. me see it. Catch it in the blind. That was uh, pretty awesome. I am. Um, I'm not saying that that was in the decoys, but he was. What, 30 yards? Get him again. Connor, back. He took a lick and he kept on ticking, but that last shot, that brought her down, bull. Kill it? Yeah. Connor. Did you get it, Austin? What? Let's call it. So, that's a wrap. I got my. Ended up killing my limit. Um, killed a bunch of widgeon and a gadwall. I don't know. That's pretty cool. So, a place I haven't hunted in a long, long, long time. Um, this is one of my favorite ponds on the planet, and it was really cool to hang out with all my buddies. So, we're going to pick everything up. The refuge run is going to continue. It started off great. Uh, let's see that duck. I'm going to go with immature Wedge and Drake. Just don't show them the wings. <laughs> that was awesome. Good way to finish the trip. Birds are starting to pile in here. We're gonna, we have a five hour drive. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, ask me some questions. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy to be here with my friends. So uh, well, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I love you. Bye.